Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before beginning the installation of the double oven, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. If installing a 30-inch model, the cabinet opening should be 28 and a half inches wide. The recommended height is 50 and a quarter inches, with a depth of 24 inches. The electrical supply for the appliance must be 240 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated 40 amp circuit is required. To avoid floor damage, set the appliance on a piece of cardboard prior to installation. Remove the oven racks, along with any other packaging or parts. Fully open the top oven door and rotate both door hinge locks back. Partially close the door, then lift and pull the door toward you to remove. With the handle side down, set the door on a blanket. Repeat this procedure to remove the bottom oven door. If the cabinet opening height is greater than 50 and 7 16 inches, you will need to install the provided oven feet so the appliance will fit in the cabinet properly. Have an assistant help you to gently tip the oven back and rest the rear of the appliance on a blanket or on the cardboard packaging. Refer to the manual to determine how to properly position the front and rear feet to accommodate the height of the cabinet. With the feet in place, return the oven to its upright position. Gently move the oven close enough to its final location to make the electrical connection. Be sure to shut off the power to the oven junction box before connecting the power supply line. If necessary, remove the junction box cover. Use a UL-listed or CSA-approved half-inch diameter conduit connector to connect the flexible cable conduit from the oven to the junction box. Tighten the screw or screws to secure the conduit. Now join the black wires together and secure them using an approved UL-listed wire nut. Do the same to secure the two red wires together and the two white wires. If your junction box has a four-wire power supply line, join the green or bare grounding wire or wires to the green grounding wire from the oven and secure them with a wire nut. If your power supply only has three wires, connect both the green grounding wire and the white neutral wire from the oven to the white neutral wire in the box. With all of the wires positioned inside the junction box, replace and secure the cover. Have two or more people use the oven opening to lift the appliance and set it in the cabinet. Remove the tape securing the black trim pieces to both sides of the oven frame.
push against the seal area of the front frame to fully position the oven in the cabinet, making sure the appliance is centered. Using a 1 8 inch diameter drill bit, drill through the holes in the frame to create pilot holes for the mounting screws. Realign the trim pieces, then thread and tighten the provided 3 quarter inch screws to secure the oven to the cabinet. Avoid over tightening the screws. Next, align the bottom vent on the oven frame, then thread and tighten the 3 8 inch screws to secure. If the oven feet were installed in the tall position, you will need to install the bottom vent trim. You can do this by flexing the upper vent piece away from the lower vent piece, then slide the bottom vent trim between them. Use the quarter inch screws to secure the trim to the vent. Align the assembly on the oven frame and secure with the 3 8 inch screws. Replace all of the oven racks. Reinstall the oven doors by inserting the door hinges into the hinge slots at a 45 degree angle. Lower the doors to their fully open position, then rotate the hinge locks forward. Confirm that the oven doors can close and open freely, and that there is an even gap between the two doors, and between the top door and the control panel. Restore power to the junction box, and the double oven should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.